For more than a century, the Rockefellers' wealth and influence have attracted both attention and suspicion and threatened to tear the family apart. Why do we want to preserve this power? Why do we want to devote our lives to maintaining all these institutions that have been created by the family? Uh, what is the purpose of all of this? John D. Rockefeller, founder of Standard Oil, was the most hated man in America, described as monstrous, evil, cruel. A Baptist preacher once encouraged him to make as much money as he could, then give away as much as he could. It was at this moment, Rockefeller later recalled, that the financial plan of my life was formed. I did not go to any small establishments, he recalled. I was after something big. Only a year later, the something big he was looking for surfaced in the backwoods of Pennsylvania. Oil to grease the wheels of America's infant industries. Oil to fuel an explosion of growth. News of the discovery unleashed pandemonium as thousands of speculators descended upon the region. Overnight, wildcatters stripped away whole forests and put up thousands of rickety derricks, hoping to strike black gold. As the oil gushed skyward, fantastic stories appeared of instant fortunes. He was no wildcatter. He saw that drilling for oil was a very risky business. Refining, not drilling, he decided, was where the steady money was to be made.